Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you a comparison between Dolly 3 and Mid Journey V6 which got out a couple of weeks ago. Now in this comparison we will do a 5v5. So we will use 5 prompts from 5 different categories on Dolly 3 and the same prompt on Mid Journey V6. So without further ado, let's just get to it. Okay, so the first category we will start with is Landscape. So I'll start with Dolly 3, which is inside of ChatGPT. I'll input a prompt and then the same prompt will be inputted in Mid Journey V6 and you can see for yourself the comparison. So I'll start with the first prompt in Dolly 3. I'll just write generate image, a serene landscape in Japan with mountains. Pretty simple. As you can see now, we will wait a bit until the image is generated and voila. This looks pretty awesome. I mean, I didn't think it would be a painting or some graphic design, but it's working pretty well. Maybe let's try something else. I'll generate a landscape, but which is photorealistic, so we can make this more challenging. Serene landscape in Japan with mountains, photo shot with a Canon camera. So let's see. Seems like ChatGPT doesn't know what I want because it seems to write me stuff. I'll just try once again. Okay, so we get the same result pretty much. Seems that Dolly 3 still gives me some sort of a painting or artistic depiction, even if I input real photo with a Canon camera. Okay, let's try this prompt in mid -journey. So I'll just copy it and type in imagine and then copy paste it. So let's see the result. I kind of like the process where in mid-journey the image is generated slowly. I think it's quite fascinating, but as you can see the result is already in. So let's just open it up. Let's open it in the browser and you can see the difference. It understands the context. If I tell it make a realistic photo with a Canon camera. Of course, I do not know the differences between a Canon or an Icon camera. Only enthusiasts can tell it, but you can see the photo is realistic. No matter the versions, all of them look very realistic. Okay, for this one, we have one for Mid Journey and zero for Doll E3. Let's go further with another prompt. So we'll go back to Dolly 3 and move on to the next category, which is portrait. Okay, now since we're talking about portraits, let's just do it without inputting any Canon camera or anything alike. It should look pretty realistic by default. I'll just imagine something like a portrait of a fisherman looking sad on a very rainy day. So let's just type it in and let's see how it's going. Now the difference is that with Dolly 3, the image seems to be generated much faster and we only get one result. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's not that bad, but it still looks like it's drawn. It still looks like it's painted, especially when you check the face and the hair on the beard. Now, when it comes to the hat, it's pretty flawless. It looks quite realistic and as well the background. But of course, when you have blur, everything can look realistic. If you take a photo or if you take a painting and you blur it out, you can give it the realistic tint to it. Now, let's move on to Mid Journey and do the same prompt. Imagine and then simply enter the prompt. Now at the first glance, it looks like it's a painting, but as soon as developing, it becomes quite amazing because Mid Journey is very, very, very good at making realistic photos. So just check this out. We'll open up the image in the browser once again, and you can see this is a huge difference. Huge difference when you compare it to Dolly 3. Now, of course, you can take Dolly 3 and try to make a prompt that's comprehensive. But as a basic user, I just want to get fast results. So what I'm trying to show you is use the same prompt in both AIs and you see for yourself the results. This is amazing. You cannot even compare it. Okay, let's move on to the next prompt. So now we will delve into the architecture category. So let's just type in a prompt in Dolly 3. I'm thinking about something that's more complicated from an architectural point of view, maybe Taj Mahal on a stormy day. Okay, this is it. 
So let's see, maybe here Dolly Tree starts to shine because in the portrait and landscape section it still didn't get my prompt well. But let's say on the portrait it tried its best. I think this is the highest peak of Dolly Tree when it comes to portraits because they still have this kind of washed out painted kind of look. So now as you can see Dolly Tree is becoming quite amazing. The clouds are pretty extraordinary and they look very realistic as well the lightning but when it comes to the gardens again they have this painted look now the Taj Mahal looks pretty decent but I think we can get a better result with Mid Journey and I'm not here to promote Mid Journey or anything but it seems like Mid Journey does a greater job overall oh and I forgot when it comes to the portrait again one point for Mid Journey and zero for Dolly unfortunately so it's 2-0. Okay, let's move on. Copy paste the Taj Mahal on a stormy day. Go to Mid Journey, type in Imagine and then copy paste the prompt. Now we can see if it's worth the wait. Okay, and that's it. This is pretty amazing because you cannot compare it. Once again, Mid Journey did an amazing job at portraying Taj Mahal as an extraordinary piece of architecture and as well making it look as realistic as possible. So the reflections, the tone of the image. So what do you think? So once again, one point for Mid Journey and null for Dolly Tree. I'm sorry Dolly Tree, I'm not trying to backstab you or anything. There's still a chance for two points in Dolly Tree, so let's just move to the art category, which might be something that Dolly Tree could do well. Okay, so let's move on once again, type in a prompt in Dolly Tree. I'm thinking of a prompt that relates to a famous painting. Maybe let's try out Mona Lisa wearing a birthday hat. It seems like Dolly Tree is doing the double response thingy, which might be great because we're getting two results. Let's just wait for the second one. I like the first result, but with a few caveats and the second result. Okay, so when it comes to the image itself, it's very close to the real thing. But when it comes to the hat, it simply looks too realistic compared to the painting, which gives it a weird look. But nevertheless, I think it's a great job. I think this is where Dali shines a lot when it comes to art and graphic design, character design, so forth and so on. Now we can move on to Mid Journey and check out what Mid Journey has to offer in this regard. So we will head over to Mid Journey, type in Imagine and copy paste the prompt, wait until it's finished and decide who gets the point. Okay, so we're getting the final results. Let's open up the image to see it in a higher scale. And it seems like we are having quite a draw in here. The painting itself looks quite good, especially the second one. But when it comes to the hat, mm, it's pretty disproportionate. So maybe if we check out the other results, this could be the one because this one seems a bit better. Let's compare it once again with this one. Yeah, the hat doesn't do justice like at all. In Dolly 3, the painting is very good. But when it comes to the hat, it's, it's just weird. The fourth image seems the best, even though the position of the hat, the, the, the lack of shadows when it comes to the forehead, it's simply not good at all. But in this case, maybe we will give a point to Dolly Tree because the image just seems better and because the shadows play a very important role, a crucial role, if I may say, to create a bit of realism. When you have a hat on, you need to have some shadows. So yeah, even though the painting itself is, is quite good in Mid Journey, we'll give one point to Dolly Tree. So it's three one at the moment and we have a last image to settle the score even though we know that mid journey already won this case character design okay so once again let's just type in generate image i'm thinking something like a purple superhero whose main power is throwing grapes at you so i'll just type in this okay so let's see the result I know it sounds weird as a prompt, but it's just character design. It's a very basic prompt. This was the purpose of the video. As a very basic user, I have simple prompts, so I don't think too much about it. But when you compare the two of them, the results seem to be much better on Meet Journey. Okay, as you can see, Dali 3 did an amazing job. Even though the hand is not very well done, it seems like the fingers are broken, the throwing of the grapes and the effects in the background, they're simply amazing, like it looks brilliant. 
I would see a movie with a superhero like this because purple is a great color and throwing grapes seems to be like a fun topic. But let's see if this can be achieved by Mid Journey even with greater results. So I'll just copy the prompt and move on to Mid Journey. Imagine and let's see what we're getting here. So as you can see, the results are very diverse in Mid Journey. These are more comic book based. They look quite nice but they seem too basic, like too brutal, to be honest. You know, having a big chunk of grapes in your hand. One of them is even an action model, which is not something that I'm looking for. The fourth one is very comic based. The first one is too much of a ninja, so it seems like a copy paste of a ninja. I think the second one looks like the one that I'm searching for, but the grapes are too big. At least in here you have the context. The character is more in the background, and the grapes are in the foreground and then you have the movement which gives it this kind of a dynamic look. I think this wins by far compared to Mid Journey. So we have the art category which of course can be done by Mid Journey just as well but you need a more complex prompt but it seems like in basic prompt art and character design is one of the strong points of Dolly 3. So point to Dolly 3. We have 3, 2. Almost a draw almost a draw. Maybe we can try one more category to stir up the soup and see if we'll get a draw or a definite winner. So I was thinking about something very banal which we all need on a daily basis and that's food. I will imagine something like a classic burger and fries. What do you think about it? Classic burger, fries next to it in a very simple manner. Classic burger with fries on a side. And let's see what Dolly 3 has to offer to us. It seems like the image is very, very tasty. So here's the result. I think it looks very, very tasty. And especially when you look at the horizon between the burger bun and the blur and the background image, it's absolutely stunning. As well, when it comes to the tomatoes, the meat is a bit paint-like and the potatoes, they look so unhealthy, but so tasty. I think overall, this is a great image. It actually waters my mouth right now. But let's try this one in Mid Journey as well and see the result so we can decide if there's a draw or if we have a champion, actually. I'll just copy the prompt, go to Mid Journey, type in Imagine and copy paste the prompt. Once again, we wait for the four results to come up. Oh, the burger is cooking quite fast. Seems like we have Mid Journey and some franchise working together. And here is the result. Unfortunately for Dolly 3, we have the champion, which is Mid Journey by far. This is so, so delicious. And you have four of them. You, you can't even decide which one to choose, if it's the same burger from different angles or four different burgers. It's of course four different burgers, but they simply look amazing. Just look at this. The second image is mind blowing. Oh my God, I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> the third image is good, but the second image has all it needs. Also the fourth image has, you know, the, the burger, just in front with the fries a bit more in the background. Absolutely fantastic. So unfortunately, we have a case for four to two and Mid Journey is the definite winner. That's pretty much, I think, this is a wrap. We had some fun generating some basic images with basic prompts. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we can try more experiments in this regard with other AIs as well and other topics in general. Thanks for watching.